Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are designing a bedroom for two boys, a boyish practical design with full details. Our main challenge is two columns that we need to hide and mow and make part of the wall design. Follow me step by step from start to finish. Let's get started. First, I mark 1000 500 millimeters from each side of the wall to set the bed positions. Then I mark 250 millimeters from each of these points, which leaves 1000 millimeters in the middle. I feel 250 millimeters is a bit small, so I undo and change both sides to. 300 millimeters to balance the center area. With the line tool, I connect this point and draw a vertical line. Now I delete extra lines to keep the model clean. And from the top, I measure 350 millimeters, then 750 millimeters. And use arc tool, I select this arch and copy it to the other side so both base area have matching arches. From the top of the middle area, I drop down 550 millimeters and draw another arc. I remove any necessary lines. Now I hide the columns by push the wall panels so the column volumes sit behind the panels. This makes the columns part of the design. Then I offset the face by 50 millimeters and, and create a thin reveal design. So select all this line. because I don't need them and move it out of the way. Now delete these lines. For depth, I push this panel area 16 millimeters. Now I copy this panel with move plus control to make another instance. For vertical grooves I use the 1001 bit plugin. For the value I use this number of first 60 millimeters, 30 millimeters, 45 millimeters. Angle zero, just round and create. With one click, we get the practical vertical grooves. And now I place this pattern to the wall. And copy it to the other side for symmetry. In the middle between the beds, I design a wardrobe with open shelves. I draw a rectangle in this area. I push it the, this part 70 millimeters, then 4 millimeters. Next, I push it by 650 millimeters. Then Add another 60 millimeters for panel thickness. To make shelves, I copy the shelf face 450 millimeters. I make the shelf a component. 
Now I push it to the two millimeters. And to speed copies, use move plus control for the first copy. Then type slash three or we can use of x3. Now I use slash three to create three only space copies. I create the lower draws fronts by drawing a center line. Copying for the region. Push it. Make group. Now I want to create handles for draws. I draw an arch here or a half circle. Now push it. Make component. And take a copy of it. Now I want to make a vinyl light for this shells. Select all lines. Then take a copy. Seventy millimeters. Twenty five. And we can also do this for the bit areas because lightning makes the wall feel modern and cozy and take a copy of this for another bit area now it's material time because this is a boys room i use soft blue for the main panels i pair blue with light gray color and the shelves and cabinet interior get a wood texture and for handle I also use the wooden texture and that's it our boys bedroom wall is done the arches hide the columns the wardrobe add useful storage and the blue and gray palette keeps it playful and modern if you like this tutorial hit like subscribe for more sketchup tips and tell me in the comments what I should design next. Thanks for watching. See you soon.